Hey everybody, Justin Scrubs here. I just wanted to showcase my gear gears. I made second place today at the uh, Halifax Regionals. I went 6-1, lost to Fire Kings in the final round. Uh, and yeah, here's the deck profile. Three armor, three arsenal, three accelerator. I've seen builds playing two accelerator. I just like the third for uh, <laughs> late game pushes. Sometimes I use all three in my combo, and it's worth it. Uh, three Mach 2, and your Yano. This guy's the, one of the best cards on the deck because you can always tribute him for a size. And late game, him and an accelerator equals a level 8 synchro. Uh, tuners, standard 4. So good. Burn one time I was, um, I was in kind of a pickle because I needed to... There's a Susanio with a hair on the board, and I couldn't really do anything. So I made a Gigant, and I searched a Nishipachi. I summoned it, I spun the Susanio, and I went double Gigant in over the, uh, the Susanio. The other reason I had double gigan is that he Valored one, and then I went gear gear for the second. Uh, and then three Valor. Um, I really like three Valor. It really came in handy. I dueled a lot of Bujin today, but it's like, it's subpar against them, it's fine. But it's like, this card is just so good. And people that complain against their Prophecy matchup and their, like, Fire Fist matchup, just shut up and play three. Find room. I don't even care. This card is amazing. Uh, 20 monsters. Spells. Three amnesty because it negates and it's also my initials. Uh, three upstart because it's much better than pod. I had many times where I was like upstart into an arsenal and I just fist pumped. Uh, one dark hole. You don't really use this when you have an armor on the board. It's more like when they get past your armor, you dark hole, you summon your arsenal that you search to do stuff like that. Plus you have like gigants on the board that can summon Gyrgianos. You have called haunted and you have accelerator and stuff that all does stuff. I've had time, I had a time where I just dark hold, and I had double gigan effect, and then after that I just like I made a combo, and then one book, it's book, does book stuff, traps, three gurgagur, -gur. it's a good card, three fiendish, um, I like this but I didn't like it because sometimes it was just dead, but uh, I really like the scrap dragon fuel, sometimes, two call, wouldn't play three, two claw yet three. Um, I really like this card. It's just basically a gear gear if you use it on an armor during the end phase. And then standard, warning, bottomless, compulse, trap stun. I played one trap stun over like seven tools and stuff because when I want to go off, I want to go off. Like, I, if I'm going off, I'm going to kill you. Uh, 12 traps, 8 spells, 20 monsters. I didn't play any mirror force because I think mirror force is garbage this format because everything, every deck is going to do something before the battle phase. Like every time that I got Mirror Force today, I had to start us. A lot of our ready. a lot of our top eight contenders didn't play Compulse. What do you thought about that? I liked it because it had variety. I'd rather play it instead of like a second of another card. Um, I used to play two Fiendish and one Compulse. One, uh, one time I took out the Compulse for a, a third Fiendish, and I just hated not running Compulse because variety is really good. I also didn't play TT because unless you have a call face down with it, then it's you're probably just gonna lose the armor. Extra deck, two gigant. Love this card. Diamond Dar actually made this a lot today. This is a really good card. Made a stroke, made it once, got Valor, Dark Hold later, profit. This dweller didn't make it, could have. That mains, made it a lot, really good. Ghost Trick Alu card. This card is so good in the mirror match because it's like, just imagine, you go Arsenal into armor, set armor, and they go set armor, go. You go search, uh, flip, search mock 2, summon it. Some of the arsenal attributed for Gyrgiana, and then you just make this, and you pop their armor, and you reset your armor, and they can't even attack it because of valid cards effect. I also use this miscellaneously against random decks just to pop a random back row. It was really nice. And one driver sack. Plan B if they don't die. Uh, synchros to Bray and to Bredo. I sh I felt like I should have played one Bredo uh, and put like, an Antegust or Emerald in, but I actually made the second Bredo like three times today. It's it's very nice. One Scrap Dragon, one Stardust, one Black Rose, and then Drago Sack tokens. Obey. For those of you who like Sword Art Online, side deck, Maxi, Heretics, Mirror Match, sometimes Mermills, Mind Control. Uh, Gyrgyz mostly, but you can also use this against Mermills. Take their level 7 overlay with it. Take their Pike overlay for a 2200 dweller. Uh, one Fissure. Just 
this fissure is basically just for use for mermails pretty much. And one twister. Um, Bougians, uh, mermails, and firefist. Bougians because they have Kaiser and vanities. Firefist because, yeah. And mermails because, yeah. <laughs> A lot of our contenders play Dust Tornado instead of uh, torn uh, Twister. What are your thoughts about that? Basically, I mostly played this for the uh, the Bougian matchup because I like Kaiser Coliseum, I can get around it. But if they gain a bunch of an advantage, i.e. like monster rise in their hand and grave, then I just can't contend. And you and like most of the times when I Kaiser, I'm just flipping armors. I brick with uh, too many gear gears. Besides this, I can use if they skill drain turn one. Uh, other than that, three overworked fire fist, dark worlds, injectors, harpies, great papers. I can go on. And just to comment about overworks, I think every contender played three. Yeah. It's uh, two Blackhorn. I decided to play the second Blackhorn instead of the third Maxi. And basically what I would do, my side for Gear Gears would be two Blackhorn and a, ma and a Mind Control. So it's just like, I had so many times where they would just like, go for the last ditch effort, last ditch effort to make a move, and I'd just Blackhorn, and they wouldn't be able to do anything. And one time the, the guy even had a uh, trap stun face down, and because I used my warning, he just like, he felt really safe. Other than that, Two DNA, no three because it's not really that good against prophecy and against Bougians, you need it but you don't really care for it. You can kick their ass anyways. Bougians is a really easy matchup. Two rivalry, um, Adolce, Evil Swarm, anything rogue. I didn't want to have not have a side for rogue and I didn't want to side too much for rogue. So just two rivalries is enough. And then last round the deck one Soul Drain. Uh, Heretic rulers and Mermails. I didn't play macro because. I needed room and I didn't really care that much for Mermails. And Soul Drain can be used against more than one deck. And Deep Fissure, I can use it on my turn. And they can't drop Valor or Maxi. I'm also pretty sure that every contender played a Soul Drain. Soul Drain's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Anywho, uh, my matchups today <laughs> Bougian 2 0, Gear Gear 2 1, Gear Gear 2 0. Um, Bougian again, 2-1, Prophecies, 2-1, Bougian, 2-1, and then Firefist, I got o 2 because we, Fire Kings, thank you, uh, we both knew we were going to top, so I was just acting kind of silly. This isn't the deck box I won, it's the one I won last time. <laughs> Other than that, uh, yeah, the deck's pretty solid. If I was to change anything, it'd probably just be in the extra deck. The deck's like... I don't know, that's really good. They got me this. Oh, yeah. And I, yeah, that's all for now, guys. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Peace.